Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stella Rose and today I am doing the Shop My Sash Saturday. And today um, I don't have on me <laughs> what I have on my eyes, but I am using the e.l.f. Meant to Be palette. I used three colors from it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, today I had a challenge on one of my um, boot camp, well, my boot camp group for my Because Cosmetics um, that I recently joined as an affiliate with. Um, we are doing a boot camp and it's recreating some makeup looks. And today we did a green challenge. And the green challenge is you have to create a look using the color green. And I decided to use my Meant to Be palette because from e.l.f. because I haven't used it yet and I kind of wanted to see how it looked so I used the light shade right here the green shimmer and then the white shimmer right in in the inner corner and I think it turned out all right but anyway um today is the shot my stash so let's go ahead and get into the shot my stash Okay, so the first item I had in my drawer is this um, I Heart Revolution Red Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. I used this for a couple of looks. I did a red look and then I did a brown look and I absolutely loved both looks. I think it turned out real well. Um, I would definitely use this again and I just might have a collab coming up with somebody um, with this palette. So hopefully we get that done in the next month. So we'll see, hopefully it, fingers crossed. Um, I am super excited if we do. The next eyeshadow palette is my She or Fem Rosa palette from ColourPop. Um, I used this like one time, I think, maybe. Did I? Did I use it at all? I don't remember. <laughs> this palette has way too many shimmers for me. And I love shimmers. Like, the t these two rows are shimmers and these are the only mattes. So, like, I don't know. I, I didn't gravitate towards this. So I'm actually probably going to declutter this palette. Um, it didn't speak to me. So, I mean, I bought it because there were so many shimmers, but then it turns out like, I need more mattes in my life. <laughs> I love shimmers, don't get me wrong. But way too many with just one row of mattes. I need a little bit more variation um, in my eyeshadow palettes. I don't mind the shimmers at all. At all, obviously. Like, I love shimmers. But I need... <sighs> these were dark shades. And then, like, the shades that... Um, these two right here, they didn't go with these two I mean like it, I just didn't like it okay <laughs> the next thing I had in here was from flower beauty this is the shimmer and strobe highlighting palette it comes with a brush and then it comes with a white pink and gold shimmer love this the gold shimmer is too dark for me um so I didn't use that but I used these two like three days out of the whole week um that I did my makeup and I pretty much do my makeup every single day so that's saying a lot. I reached for that palette quite a bit and it looked so good. This, I am going to tell you, this is my first time, first week trying the Nabla um, bronzer. This is in the shade Ambra and um, it's probably backwards for y'all, but this is Ambra. Um, I actually really liked this color. As you can tell, I used it quite a bit. The Nabla is almost gone. The stamp right here. Um, I have it on today. And then I have the Seduce Blush from Tarte in my project pan, um, on my cheeks for my blush. So I think that they were a good combination. I think the, um... Not maybe with my eyeshadow, but I tried, you know, you can't always perfect a look. But this bronzer was so good. I highly recommend it. It's very easy to blend out. Um, not too pigmented to where you can't 
like dip into it again if you need to. Um, but I think it was just really, really good. So I highly recommend it. Um, it looks really good. Um, so the next item I have is Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I have mine in the shade 150. I have this on my face today, um, as well as the um, bronzer. I don't know. It's really hydrating. <laughs> my face is like really shiny. I feel like even though I put um, powder on and everything, um, you tell me, how does my look look today? Um, I'll let y'all be the judge of my look. The next thing I have is the Joseph Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. Wow, my hand was shaking right there. There we go. It's a little bit better. <laughs> this one is in the shade 3 Fair, and I liked this one. I didn't mind it. It has a really big doe foot applicator. Not as big as the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer one, but pretty big. Um, it worked really well. It concealed my under eyes. It also brightened because that's what I pretty much use my concealer for. I use it to brighten and, and hide my dark circles at the same time. Um, so I use it like under my eyes. I use it on the bridge of my nose, kind of on the forehead right here, and then on my chin. Um, so it worked really well. The blush that I also had in my um, drawer was the Phase Zero Making Moves blush. It's like a nice peachy pink. Um, well, it, I'd say it's a dark peach. Um, probably can't tell in the light because the light's making it a little bit brighter, but um, I really like it. And it smells like coconuts. <laughs> so it kind of smells like the butter bronzer from Physician's Formula. The next item I have in my uh, drawer were mascaras, and I had the Their Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit, and then the Laura Geller New York. Um, not sure which one this is. It doesn't say on it, um, but it's a nice fluffy, fluffy brush. That's what it looks like. And then the Their Real Magnet is a. I don't know. I don't like the. I don't like the um, spoolie or wand or whatever you call it. Um, but it's a really good mascara minus the wand. Um, this one's a good wand, but I don't like the mascara. It doesn't really give me definition. So I have both mascaras on today. I put the Laura Geller one on first, and then I put this one on, on top and, um, at least on the bottom. And I think the bottom looked better with this on it. So, um, I like this one over this one. For eyeliners, I had two in minus my project pan. I had the Ofra highlighter, highlighter, eyeliner in black, and the Stila um, smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in spice. I liked the formulation of the Stila one, so I wouldn't mind getting some other colors like blacks or even like brighter colors. I've never had a bright color eyeliner. Um, it's just a little different for me and I haven't ever tried it. So, I mean, I'm kind of venturing into the openness of trying a colored eyeliner. So if you can suggest a colored eyeliner for me, um, which one would you choose? What brand and why? If you want to comment down below. Um, for eyebrows, I had the Scone Eyebrow Wand in Peanut Butter and the Give Me Brow from Benefit in the shade 4. Last but not least, all these products are, by the way, not Project Pan. Everything else in my drawer was Project Pan. So um, we have the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid um, Primer from ColourPop. This is real runny and hydrating, but I don't feel like it kept up with the longevity of my makeup. Um, so I would probably want to use this more so during the winter. Um, so I'm, I'm going to keep it, but I probably won't use it until after the summer, you know, because the summer you're going to be sweating and everything, probably not needing a hydrating primer that will make makeup slide all over your face because you're already oily as heck. So 
that is everything that was in my drawer besides my project pan items. And let's go ahead and get into the shop my sash portion. Alrighty, so as you can tell, I have some eyeshadows right here. And as you can tell as well, it's a little different because you aren't seeing some eyeshadow palettes being already chosen and laying out on the floor for me to show you. So what I'm gonna do this week, because I am in that um, challenge group, I'm not gonna pick any eyeshadow because I'm going to go with what the challenge is for the day and then I will be picking my eyeshadow. So I can't go through at the moment and pick my eyeshadow. So that is gonna be skipped this week. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into the drawers. I've got my basket ready. So let's go ahead and go into primer. For primer, I'm going to choose my NYX Marshmallow Primer. I haven't used this yet, and I wanna get a good feel for it. So we're gonna do that. Um, I have, I bought three new powders. I bought the Charlotte Tilbury powder, the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and the Kosas powder. So I'm going to choose, um, the Kosas powder and see how I like it. And we'll put it in here. Next, we're going to go into my, um, concealers and I think... know what to choose guys um I think I'm gonna choose my I feel like I'm gonna choose the same concealer over and over um I'm gonna choose my Tarte um ultra creamy concealer again this one is in the shade 16 in and I will see how I like it so we'll put that in there and then for setting sprays, um, I really don't, I do, but I don't want to choose a setting spray because I have three in there already and I really need to focus on those and finish them up, but I really want to use something, but I, oh, I can't. I'm going to use those. I'm going to try to get some of them finished. Um, for foundation, I am going to choose the, well, look at that, like it's, not even down at the bottom is stuck up at the top that is so weird oh it's not focusing now what's going on there we go as you can tell it's like look at that that's so weird why is it not going down to the bottom i had it sitting there for like ever um that's weird maybe i should declutter that um i think i'm gonna choose the Wet n Wild Dewy uh, Photo Focus Foundation. I have mine in the shade Soft Beige, I think. Yes, Soft Beige. Um, so I'm gonna choose that foundation. And then I'm also gonna choose my Too Faced Born This Way. Um, I have mine in the shade Porcelain. So we'll go ahead and choose those two foundations. We're gonna go into the bronzer, blush, and face palette drawer. I'm going to choose a face palette this week, and I just bought a new one, and it is this one right here. This is the Benefit Earth Angel Foroscope palette, and it smells so good. But we've got the Hula Bronzer, the Georgia Blush, the Honeymoon Blush, which I think is new, and the Cookie Highlighter. And that cookie highlighter, I swatched. I swatched everything but the Hula Bronzer. But um, that highlighter is to die for. Oh my goodness. So we're going to put this in here. And then I'm going to choose out, um, I think I'm going to choose a cream blush. And I'm going to choose my ColourPop um, Birthday Suit Super Shock Cheek. So we'll go with that. And then we're going to choose another bronzer. Um, and I think I'm going to choose... I think I'm going to choose... I don't know what to choose, guys. It's like happening every single week. I don't know what to choose with my bronzer. I think I'm going to choose my Becca um, Capri Coast. Um, 
So let's see. Is this what I want? Yes, I think I'm gonna choose that. So we'll choose that. Next, we're gonna go into the highlighter drawer. And I think I'm going to choose my favorite highlighter, which is the MAC Double Gleam. If I can get it to focus, yeah. Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Now, I have two of these. This is the one that I use. And then this is the one that I'm not using. And I'll show you why if I can open it. But I just bought it so I could keep it. Because look at that. How freaking gorgeous is that? I will never use that. So... Um, we're going to take this and use that this week and maybe I'll get some use out of my milk makeup. This is in the shade lit. I've never used it before besides swatching it. So we'll see how that turns out. So now we're going to take everything that's in here, go up to all of this mess up here. If I can fix that, there we go. We're going to go into this drawer right here. I'm of course gonna pick out my Ofra eyeliner because this is what I use on my bottom eyes, bottom of my eyes. And then for liquid liner, I'm going to choose my Araceli. I think this is that one. Yeah, my Araceli Ojos Perfectos liquid eyeliner. And then, because I'm almost finished with my um, Project Pan one, spoiler alert. So. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and choose this benefit, um, precisely my brow, um, precisely my brow pencil in the shade. It's a, it's a shade too light. It's 3.5 and I'm in shade four. So it's okay. I just need to use it up because it's a tester. And then of course my benefit, give me brow. So we're going to do that one as well. Then for mascaras, I'm of course going to grab my lash princess. This is my favorite. And I'm going to, I, I want to finish this one up and I feel like I'm almost done even though I literally just started it. So we're just going to grab those two and that is going to be it because I don't choose lip products because I like to go off of what my look looks like. So now we're going to go ahead and take all this, put it in the drawers, get it set up, and then you will see the overview of what it looks like. Okay, so here's the overview of the drawer. We've got this standing up. It is outside of my drawer because of how low it has gotten. That is in my project pan, so I'm not going to exactly show you what it looks like. But So we've got project pan items here, the new face palette. We've got the highlighters right here, the new blush, the new bronzer. Um, we've got my primers. We've got the foundations the concealers, the powders, the setting sprays, the brow products, the eyeliners, and the mascaras. So this is exactly what my drawer is looking like. I think it looks pretty good this week. Um, I kind of like the fact that I don't have any eyeshadow palettes besides my Project Pan ones, um, and then my small um, single eyeshadow. But um, I'm looking forward to what this week is going to bring. I, I really can't wait to use this and this and then figure out how I can work with these two items because I'm I I'm worried about my cream products <laughs> I have I have anxiety about those so um we'll see how this week goes with those products I'll obviously review them next weekend um and I hope everyone has a great memorial holiday um and I hope everyone has a really good day and remember to stay beautiful